Hi, today we are going to present a topic about the advancements of advanced oxidation processes as tertiary treatment for water or wastewater, and we will further explain its fundamental principles, importance, and factors that can interfere with the efficiency of the advanced oxidation process that we have chosen. So, before we start with the advanced oxidation process that we have chosen, I will give you a brief introduction about the general idea of advanced oxidation processes. Advanced oxidation processes, which is known as AOP, is important as it is used to solve water pollution problem and scarcity of useful water. Besides, it is useful for the removal of problematic organic matter to develop eco-friendly wastewater treatment technology. In addition, it can also help in treating the wastewater, such as removing the various aromatic compounds, dyes, pharmaceutical compounds, and pesticides. So, let me explain how AOP works. AOP is a highly suggested approach for the removal of problematic organic matter, as it involves production of highly reactive and powerful oxidants, such as hydroxyl radicals. Hydroxyl radicals, which are mainly responsible for the degradation of the organic compounds can be generated from hydrogen peroxide, ozone, photocatalysis, or oxidants combined with ultraviolet radiation. It is an unselective strong chemical oxidant by means it attacks nearly all organic complexes once it is produced. With these characteristics, hydroxyl radical can help in breaking down the organic compound completely and it is used to diminish the concentration of the pollutant from a few hundreds ppm to less than 5 ppb with high reaction rate. For the reaction, the reaction of hydroxyl radical involves taking away a hydrogen atom from an organic compound and produce an organic radical which is as shown in the equation in the slide. AOPs normally utilize high energy oxidants such as ozone, Fenton's reagents, and hydrogen peroxide to generate highly concentrations of highly reactive hydroxyl radicals and the reactive species form. The table here shows the common AOPs with the reactive species produced from the reaction. In this study, we will be studying about the UV hydrogen peroxide advanced oxidation process as it is one of the most promising AOP systems and economically practical, which will be discussed further in the subsequent chapters. Hi, my name is Lim Jiazhen. Today, I would like to explain about fundamental principle of UV peroxidation. What is UV peroxidation? UV peroxidation is basically a chemical oxidation process that uses hydrogen peroxide as a reagent to excited state becomes hydroxyl radical with the UV radiation. The reaction mechanism of UV peroxidation process can be separated into three phases, which are initiation phase, propagation phase, and termination phase. For the initiation phase, there are two chemical reactions take place which are self-ionization of hydrogen peroxide reaction and also photolysis of hydroperoxide reaction. For the first equation, we can see that the hydrogen peroxide will ionize itself to form hydrogen peroxide ion and hydrogen ion, while for the second equation show the direct photolysis of hydrogen peroxide with the presence of UV light which will form two hydroxyl radicals. While for the propagation phase, the hydroxyl radical will react with the excess hydrogen peroxide in the water to produce perohydroxyl radical and water molecule. And the hydrogen peroxide and ion, which is in acid base equilibrium, will also absorb the UV light and decomposes to produce one hydroxyl radical and an oxygen and ion radical, which can react with water molecule to produce another one hydroxyl radical and one hydroxide ion. The perhydroxyl radical react with hydrogen peroxide to produce one water molecule, oxygen radical, and also hydroxyl radical. For the termination phase, the interaction between two hydroxyl radicals lead to recombination to form hydrogen peroxide. And the hydroxyl ion react with the perhydroxyl radical to produce one hydrogen peroxide and also one oxygen. Now I will explain about the mechanism on how 
the hydroxyl ion removes the contaminant in the water. Once the hydrogen radicals are produced, they will rapidly react the contaminants C to form the dissolved byproducts DOC. The DOC form will be further attracted by the hydroxyl radical and undergoes further degradation process to produce the byproducts such as carbon dioxide gas, water, and also mineral acid. The pH of the solution is assumed to be decreased or acidic due to the conversion of the contaminant and also the production of carbon dioxide or H2CO3 in the aqueous phase. The DOC that is not completely mineralized in the process which will cause the form of the carboxylic acid during the oxidation process. The system performance will affect or decrease due to the presence of DOM and also inorganic anions such as chloride ion, bicarbonate ion, carbonate ion and sulfate ion that is normally contained in the water. These substances will cause the significant effect because of their ability to absorb the UV light and also to scavenge hydroxyl ion produced. The scavenging effect on hydroxyl ion will drastically limit the oxidation action of the hydroxyl ion on the contaminants. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alma Sajada and I'm going to talk about the addition of the ultraviolet peroxidation as a tertiary treatment for water and wastewater. Why the addition of the ultraviolet peroxidation as a tertiary treatment for water and wastewater is necessary? Industrial wastewater can contain huge amounts of uh, inorganic compounds. Tertiary treatment for effluent includes a series of further steps following the secondary treatment to reduce the organic turbidity, nitrogen, phosphorus, methyl, and pathogens. Tertiary treatment develops wastewater quality before reuse, recover, or remove from the environment. Uh, also, studies for additional stability of wildlife after discharge toward uh, rivers or lakes. Tertiary treatment may take uh, several various forms depending on the quality of the final uh, effluent required. Advanced oxidation processes or EOPs are the a usual attractive and favorable opportunity for removing natural pollutants in wastewater. AOPs uh, find its uh, suitable applicability for treating wastewater uh, containing harmful chemicals. UV peroxidation advanced oxidation processes have been demonstrated to be efficient processes for managing and treating trace organic contaminants. Uh, the mechanism of a microorganism inactivation uh, by UV uh, differs from uh, the pathogen inactivation by um, ultraviolet peroxidation. The use of UV peroxidation for decolonization uh, increases oxidation rate and strength. Simultaneously, it is an uh, environment-friendly application. That's all for me. Thanks. Hi, my name is Siti Norhuda. I'm going to explain about the factors of interference in AOP efficiency. As the AOP is an invented technology to treat water, we must bear in mind that there must be some consequences during the process. For UV peroxidation, here we stated three main factors that could interfere the process. The first one is the high pH value. The high pH value indicates that the condition of water itself is an alkaline condition which favors the surface charge, change of pollutant from natural to negatively charged. Under this particular condition, precipitate may also exist. The second factor that could interfere in the UV peroxidation process is the presence of hydroperoxyl charge. So, um, the excessive content of hydrogen peroxide scavenge uh, interfere when it competes with hydroperoxyl radical to inhibit the removal of pollutant in water. So, hydrogen peroxide, it reacts with other contaminants, for example, elemental sulfur, uh, it's produced complex and oxidizable material. The third factor that 
uh, could interfere the UV peroxidation process is the high turbidity. So high turbidity with interfering compounds can lower the UV light absorptions and make it impossible to break the structure of the pollutant. All of these interferences in this process can be mitigated by a few methods, which is the first one is by lowering the pH value of the water, which reduces the alkaline condition. The second one is by increasing the concentration of other radical a bit higher to avoid the interruption during the process. The third one uh, is um, to encounter the presence of hydroperoxyl radical as an inhibitor. Uh, we need to put um, carbonate and bicarbonate that may act as scavenger to the hydroperoxyl um, radical in natural system, which by means it will draw back the process. The last one is by optimization dosage by lab scale testing uh, from each water sources to ascertain the ideal dose of hydrogen peroxide use. Uh, which we know that uh, when there is excessive dose, it will be major interfere, which producing complex and oxidizable materials later. As conclusion, advanced oxidation technologies actually provides a powerful option for the removal of organic pollutants in industrial wastewater as it is effective in removing pollutants. Hence, addition of hydrogen peroxide by UV peroxidation process was regarded as a good parameter for enhancement of photocatalytic degradation process. That's all from us. Thank you.